Hey, uh, first fly time video. Kind of like you guys said you guys wanted it, so here we are making it. Uh, how this series is gonna go is I'm gonna make fly time videos, and you guys can comment on the videos whatever fly pattern you want next. And if I know how to do it, I'll make you guys a video. If I don't, I'll try my best to learn it and then make you guys a video. But uh, today we're gonna be tying a olive woolly booger. Uh, specifically size six it's this is a great pattern for bass trout steelhead salmon sunfish bluegill oh, it's all all around species best one of my favorite lures for any species so obviously se secure this tight on your vise I'm gonna be using a hundred or okay this is I gotta change real quick. I'm gonna be using a 140 black thread. If you guys have olive at home, you can definitely use olive to match the fly. But I don't have olive on me right now, so I'm just gonna use black. Um, let me put this in real quick. This is a pretty beginner friendly fly, not that difficult to make. This is one of the first flies I learned how to tie. Um, so first, you can do this also with the bead or without a bead, I'm just seeing without a bead right now. So for just start your thread wrap, middle of the hook, is what I like to do. Easy wraps to the tail. Oh yeah, and also the stuff you need for this fly. Any color marabou you want, today olive, because we're making olive fly. Uh, hackle, saddle hackle, doesn't matter what type of hackle. And then either chenille or dubbing. I'm going to be using chenille just because it's easier. And then if you want, you can use hackle pliers, hackle pliers for the hackle, but just completely up to you. Um, just let me just grab a piece of marabou here real quick. Got to find a, got to find a good piece um, that will, you know, work. Sorry guys. All right, just a little piece of marabou. This, yeah, there you go. Just split some off. What some people like to do is pull out the loose fibers, which I actually might do, or another loose of short ones. You kind of, that's not a good piece. That's not a good piece either, actually. Too small, yeah. So I'm gonna do it. Just you know, grab it right there, pull it out. Don't use scissors because scissors makes it look uh, like not natural, which obviously you want it to look natural. Just keep pulling it out until it sort of looks like that. There we go. This is a bit too much but you know should be fine so kind of measure it from eye of the hook to the back and just transfer it over to the back a couple of loose wraps to secure it in place and then start putting tight wraps once you got it secure or not completely secure cut the marabou off at an angle leave that there just for a second wrap up Secure that. Uh, just bring that down, cover it all up. Not all of it, but you know. There we go. Bring your thing back up. I like to tie it right there and then go under the marabou once or twice to secure it in there really well. It improves the durability, obviously. Bring this all down now. Now, you wanna bring this back, and this is where you use your chenille. This is probably, you know, this is not that, this is easy, chenille part. Right there. Now grab your matching color chenille. This is obviously dark olive. Cut about, I like to measure it off my desk. Uh, 
about five inches. Don't cut yourself short. You know, if this is in frame at this much, this actually might be too short, but it's fine. We'll deal with it. Secure it in the back. Just a couple wraps. It's usually if you hold this in your mouth. couple of tight wraps to secure it and then make sure it's secured because you don't want this to unravel which it shouldn't even know but you know so once it's secured move open spiral la wraps to the eye of the hook and then a bit closer there just leave that there then start wrapping this around all the way up to the front Trying to do this as quick as possible. So there we go, we kind of got like an inch of extra, but it does not matter one bit. Secure this there with a couple wraps. Cut this, cut the extra off, just like that. Couple more wraps just to secure it in place. Now we add our hackle. This is probably the most tedious part. You can get any color you want. Um, see, as you can see, this is more of a yellowish. This is more of a greenish. I personally like the this yellow because it matches with the tail. But you can use any color. Uh, the obviously it matches um kind of peel off a bit of the fuzzy part see that just a bit of the fuzzy part right there cut this off about a quarter of an inch and then you have a little bit of the stem left so secure that at the front Oh, it came off. Secure that at the front with tight wraps so it doesn't come out. And then you can either use hackle pliers, right? Or your hand, does not matter. Hackle pliers are a bit easier in my opinion. So the thing with hackle is it will only wrap in the direction that it feels like. So in this case, this will work. Okay, that sucks. We'll just use our hand. Wrap this one time around and then start. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, guys. Open spiral laps your thread to the back. It doesn't matter if you trap any of the chenille. There we go. Now you can start your wraps with the hackle. One wrap there, another wrap, another wrap. This slipped. This is why this is the annoying part. These are pretty close together. I would honestly right here restart the fly, but yeah, we're gonna restart this. There we go, there, then there. Make sure this is not twisted. There, make sure this is not twisted again. There again. Don't slip. So now you would secure that end of the hackle, cut off the extra, if I can reach it, 
right there. So now you want to get your thread back up to the eye. Try and bring the thread back up without trapping any hackle fibers. If you do, do try and just pull them out. Uh, keep going. Trying not to trap any. There we go. And I want you back at the front. I'll do like one, two wraps. And then grab your whip finisher right here. Do about a three wrap, two or three wrap whip finish. Let me just do that real quick. There we go. Trim off the thread. And now if you want, you can put some UV resin, super glue, Ted cement, whatever you want on there. But me personally, I don't do that because my flies don't last long enough. But um, there you go. You got a nice olive woolly bugger. This chenille is a bit too fluffy. I'll probably redo that and get a thinner like the back, but we'll cast some fish. Again, all around species. Uh, now comment what fly you guys want next. Pretty long video. I'll try and cut it shorter next time, but yeah, thanks for watching.